Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be building the 1953 Chevrolet Fleetline from the Fast and the Furious 8, also known as Fate of the Furious. Now, I've been requested to remake um, this build because I, when I originally done it, I used the like the Ratted Out Tornado, and uh, since the the new Vapid Hustler has been released, um, I've been requested to rebuild it. So I'm going to be rebuilding the fleet line from Fate of the Furious uh, using the Vapid Hustler. And as you can see, and probably here, this vehicle is a fucking beast, man. It sounds amazing. It looks pretty cool from stock, uh, but we're going to get this into LS Customs. So if you want to follow me on this build in recreating the fleet line from Fate of the Furious, make sure you grab a Vapid Hustler, meet me in LS Customs, and I'll show you how to do the rest. So you go my bros, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Vapid Hustler is in the muscle category. So as always, we're going to start the build with 100% body armor, then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes for the bumper, front bumper. Um, now, I'm going to say it right here, right now, I haven't actually done a dry run on this vehicle, so uh, I'm building this fleet line from this Vapid Hustler for the very first time. So I'm going to have to go through the options and decide as we go along. So... With that being said, we are just going to go with the front bumper delete. I think that's probably the best option to go with. And the same for the rear. We're going to go with the rear bumper delete. Next, we're going to go to the engine. You want to get the level 4 engine upgrades. Then for the exhaust, what have we got for the... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, straight off the bat, you can have them coming out of the front. That looks fucking amazing. So, we are going to have to have something like this. Um, or do we? Do we have, no, I don't think we do have to have anything like that. Because I'm pretty sure the the car from the film doesn't have the exhausts coming from the engine, like straight pipes like that. And uh, yeah, so in that case, we're just going to stay stock for the exhaust for now. Um, possibly we could come back and change them. Um, but I'm pretty sure that the stock exhaust is going to be the one to go with. Next, we're going to move down to the grills. We've got a rusty grill, which is probably going to be the best one to go with. We've got the delete, and we can delete the surround. Man, that's a cool-looking bumper. Not bumper. That is a cool-looking mesh. And that looks fucking awesome, man. I like that. That also looks cool, too. But we're not here for the good looks. We're, we're here to make the fucking fleet line from Fast 8. So, uh, I want the salty. or the, I think the rusty is probably going to be the best, so we're going to go with that. Then we're going to go to the hood. We're going to remove the hood. Next, we're going to go to the livery. Hopefully, we can get like a rusty, which we can. Which we can. But we've got... Oh, hang on, hang on. We've got the numbers on the side. I don't think that's really going to make a difference. Can we get a rusty... Yeah, we can get a rusty version without the numbers anyway. Barn find. That looks cool, man. Um, this one also looks pretty good. Just some patina. Just some patina. Is that... Is that uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I think barn find actually looks pretty awesome. But you could also have the rusty uh, dagger, the rusty dragger, sorry, uh, which actually looks really cool because it's got that that um, writing on the door. But the, the car in the film doesn't have any doors, so uh, yeah, I suppose that doesn't really matter. As the car in the film doesn't have any doors, you could go with a rusty dragger if you'd want, or uh, or the barn find. I think I'm in favour of the barn find. So I'm going to go with that one. So next we're going to go to the respray. You want to go primary colour. We're going to go matte. Once you're in here, we're going to go with this ice white, man. That looks fucking awesome. Then we're going to go to the secondary colour, also in matte, and go ice white. So next we're going to go to the side skirts. We are going to remove panels and fenders, man. That looks fucking awesome. That looks well cool, man. Love it. Yeah, so we're going to go with that one. Next, we've got the suspension. We're going to go with a competition suspension. The transmission, we're going to get a race transmission and turbo tuning. Now, for the wheels, guys, the wheels are actually stock are quite similar to what we need, uh, but not exactly what we need. So, we are going to go to muscle and we're going to go with these bad boys called Cracker. Once you purchase them, you then want to go into the wheel color. We're going to go with maybe like a bronzy color on this. So, you go, bronze looks quite good. That actually looks all right, but it looks a little bit too clean for my liking. But then I did see this dark earth, and uh, I think that looks a little bit nicer, you know, because um, unfortunately you can't rust up your wheels. 
or you know fuck them up a little bit so like i already said i think the bronze looks a little bit too clean you can alternatively go with that if you'd like um but i think the dark earth looks a little bit better so i'm gonna go with the dark earth and to finish off the build as always we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tin i know it doesn't have window tin in the film but it makes it look a little bit fucking sweeter so that is it guys that is my variation of the fleet line from fate of the furious and um yeah i'm actually digging the way this hustler is rocking uh this this look man it looks fucking awesome you can get the rusted livery which goes on there you can delete pretty much everything in regards to the fenders the side panels the bumpers the hood even a grill if you would like but we need the grill because um you know it adds to the look and uh yeah man i think uh, it definitely definitely plays a better part in regards to the fleet line than what the t what the tornado did but when i built this originally using the tornado the tornado was the only kind of ratted out drag racer that we had in the game at that time um but obviously now the vapid hustler was released some time ago now actually um with the customizations you've got for the vapid hustler it just makes sense so when someone did suggest this to me um i thought yeah that does make sense you know i know it's not an identical replica of it um because the the fleet line's got a different body shape but other than the actually it, well it has got, obviously got a different body shape but it's not that much different to be fair it really isn't the fleet line's probably a, a little bit longer but other than that the overall body shape is very similar and then obviously with the customizations you can do to it where you could put the rusted livery um pretty much get identical wheels and delete the panels and all that sort of stuff like i've already said i think it works really really well um but yeah that's going to be the end of the video i hope you guys did enjoy my build on the fleet line from fate of the furious um aka fast eight aka the fast and the furious eight um and this is like i said a rebuild so uh if you did enjoy this video why not go and check out my previous video on this build using the, the ratted out tornado um and then let me know in the comments down below what you think is the better build uh be interesting to hear but anyway guys like i said that's going to be the end of the video hope you guys did enjoy if you did please uh, leave a like and if you haven't already why not subscribe to my youtube channel for more gta 5 content and until next time guys i'm out adios Thank you.